think. <laughs> okay, we should be we should be live. Checking, I'm refreshing. Hi, yeah. I see people. Yes, I see people in the chat. Yay! Okay, we are live. live. Happy Friday. Thank goodness. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Charles from What's on Stereo. You are on my channel, so obviously you know my channel name. My name. Um, today Wait, where am I? Talking about... <laughs> Stop. <laughs> so today we're going to be talking about the first three books in the Moral of the Dark series. So, um, I forgot. The oh books. God, where am I? A Hunger Like No Other, <laughs> No Rest for the Wicked, and Winter's Deeds on a Winter. On a dark night, Wicked right? Deeds on a Winter's Night. I don't know. We are entering the phase in which I know no titles because they're all Wicked something something. And I'm like... I was like, the third book title sounds really <laughs> similar to like the fourth. I think it's the fourth book. Mm -hmm. they all like the I was like, Chrisley, you need to come up with better names for these books. <laughs> I'm just like, going to assume she didn't get to name them. Um, Izzy, um, have you read the novella? Like, isn't the, like, the first one technically a novella? Yes. Did y'all read that one? Because I, I haven't read that one. Yeah, no. Read We're reading okay. it later okay. in the this series, technically. Um, <laughs> no, it isn't. Tamika, you're going to no, get banned. He's going to ban you. Wow. Oh, before I forget, everyone introduce themselves. So, Brie, you go you? first, Is. Oh, oh, okay. okay. Oh, so, you okay. go first. You're in the middle. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brie. I talk about in, uh, romance on Instagram. <laughs> hey, I'm Izzy from Happy For Now, the other co-host. You should you should recognize me from the Discord. I don't know. I feel like we're in there chatting. I'm just so excited that we're all reading these books. I love them yes. so much. Yes. I feel like y'all are like getting a look inside my soul of the things I like in books <laughs> very deeply with these. Because everyone else is like, they're too much. And I'm like, give me more, please. Yeah. Honestly, I do feel you like the feel first like my favorite? Dude, I feel like the third one has been my favorite. Um, okay, that so I love all three equally, but I do think there is nothing better than an opening to a series where yeah. he literally rips his leg off to get to her. Yep. Yeah. It's so much. You're like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. And then you're like, oh, oh, this is kind of hot. And then he like destroys the room, but he keeps her safe. I don't know. There's yeah. something hot about that. It's like after all the paranormals I read, I distinctly was like, damn, Chrisley's doing something different. I was like, she is. I was like this is like I... faded mates, but like on steroids. Mm -hmm. See, it... I like I came into this year and I was like, man, I want to read more paranormals this year and wrote more rom coms. And so like I'm reading like the first book and I'm like, this is kind of funny. And then I get to the second book and I'm like, this one's a little bit more sad, but it's still funny. And then I read the third one, and I was like, oh, Cressy Cole is hilarious. <laughs> I was like, I was not expecting that from a paranormal series. So she, she delivers, I mean, she delivers a good mix. I feel like it's got the right balance. You're you're getting comedy. You're getting body parts ripped off. At some point, there's a bag of heads, y'all. Like, no joke. So, again, so did I did you just, read them, Izzy, like when they were coming out or, or what? No, I read them in 2019 when Faded Mate started. That okay. spurred me on to my like reading of them. And I was like, I really want to reread these. Okay. Like really bad. And then I just, I harangued Charles into this. <laughs> so I know that a lot of people are like for their we're almost a year into quarantine life. They've mm -hmm. been escaping into historicals. I feel like my escape has become like this series and I want everything that's similar to it. Like give me paranormal. Do you I feel like love it. the timing is everything? Like I feel like y'all picked the perfect time to read this series. 100%. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I am. I don't dislike historicals. I do like historicals. I'm just like, I've been in like a paranormal mood since like last fall, maybe. And I was just kind of like, this is this is what I need right now. I want like over the top alpha male who's going to like kill the world for me. That's what I want. <laughs> like take the world out for me. <laughs> like kill the virus. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. So like reading it, like I think it was the second book where I was like, mm -hmm. damn, like we've been living this like 
this is our new normal, right? Like there's mm-hmm. something literally lurking amongst us that we can't see that's killing people. Yeah. How much more paranormal can you get? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, like, it's true. This is, is why true. this that's a good point. It just hit. Yeah. I remember messaging Izzy. I was like, I don't know if I would have read this like 10 years ago if I would have loved it, but like it hit perfectly mm-hmm. for 2020. Yeah, I mean, I think too these these show the evolution of that paranormal alpha because they came out in like the height of paranormal. So she really pushed that alpha. And if you read her contemporaries, she no joke puts a paranormal alphas into contemporary romance. And you're like, what? <laughs> but also give it to me. So good. <laughs> okay. So do you remember? Okay. So the first book, Izzy, mm-hmm. do you remember like when you read it or like if you read anything about it, like what were people's thoughts about it? Because I feel like the first one, could be kind of controversial. I So my yeah. encouragement to everyone is if you don't like the first book, try book two, because book one is a lot. Because <laughs> like Lachlan and Emma is a lot. Like, and I, I said it in the Discord, I was like, just be ready. It's a lot. Like you're, you're gonna be like, what the F? I did not love book one on my first read. It actually took me till maybe book four to be like really into the series when I first started it. And I'm doing the Fate of Mates podcast help because you're like, oh, I want to listen every week, but I don't want to be spoiled. Mm-hmm. So I just kept going. And then as I kept going, I was like, oh, no, these are. And now as I reread, I'm like, these are literally everything I love in a book, actually. Mm-hmm. I just didn't realize it. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I know like book one, I feel like it's so much with Lachlan. I mean, I don't know if you guys were jarred by how aggressive he is. And like, mm-hmm. he's such an alpha. He literally learns how to drive by watching her drive for a day. Like, <laughs> It's ridiculous. <laughs> but that's but what I makes love it, it so much fun. It's like campy, just like it just goes for it. And I haven't read another paranormal romance like it. Yeah. It, it does. I don't feel like a lot of paranormals I've read no. reflect Cressley Cole banana pants levels in any capacity. I mean, it's like they see each other, they're into each other. The female's like, nah, I don't want to be made into. <laughs> <laughs> basically the heroine throughout the entire book. Like, I mean, yeah, book two, you've got sad boy, Sebastian, who's just the most depressed. You're like, I just want to give you a hug. <laughs> okay, so my, I think like book one didn't really, I didn't really get it until like I finished it. I mm-hmm. was like, okay, he is pretty aggressive. But the heroine's super passive too, like for mm-hmm. a while. So, yeah. I feel like Emma, I mean, I don't know, you guys disagree with me. I think Emma's presented as like almost a Mary Sue where you're supposed to be like, wait, what? And then by the end, yeah. you're like, oh my God, no, she has a ton of agency and she's actually like, mm-hmm. I need to like, learning that she needs to be a little more aggressive maybe yeah. and like show her agency more. Cause she's like trying to, but she's also like, how do I escape these wild Valkyrie women that will leave me alone? Can we talk about the Valkyrie like, women? They are like, I like, love I them. I will kill you. I will. I will like. I want my own house of Valkyrie have. women, please and I thank mean, you. I like, casually like, well, let's go kill some vampires. I know. Yeah, they're just like, hey y'all, it's movie night. Let's all pile in and hang out. And then they're like, oh, there's many here. <laughs> Yeah. That always cracks up. They're like, what is he doing here? <laughs> Listening to the audio and like the narrator, I'm like, yeah. dude, you are so on point in selling me on this. <laughs> yeah, but I did I felt like at first I did not like the heroine in book one. I was like, mm-hmm. oh God, not another one of these. Mm-hmm. But again, like once I finished it, I was like, they contrasted it. They were like, so different. I love that, that contrast. I, I felt like he felt even more aggressive because she is like so passive and doesn't know what the fuck is going on. Yes, I agree. It, it and is I was like, contrast. and the dude's been like, he's been like under the what the catacombs. Yeah, he's been mm-hmm. he's been underground he's been in for hell, a long basically time. for like years, hundreds of years. <laughs> Literally, you should not be here if you haven't read. Yeah, we're gonna full spoil we're it. Also. Spoiler. Why haven't you read this yet, Heather? Come on. So yeah, okay. So she said, so it's novel two corner. She said that she's not sold on the heroes yet. That's interesting. Yeah, 
Yeah, that is interesting. See, I, I again, this is literally my id. This is like cut me open and what I want out of this. <laughs> So y'all are just really getting a look inside my brain. Is this going to come for you if you don't like Mortals at the Dark? Or you still no, in it's comments? fine. I get, no, I totally get it's not for But this is, I started with Paranormal Romance when I started reading in 2009. And I think it's just a reflection of that. I also like, that was like Fifty Shades and like really aggressive alpha male heroes. So I don't know. I've just always kind of enjoyed them. Yeah, yeah I don't think like any of these guys so far have like rubbed me the wrong way. But again, it might just be 2021, okay? I don't know. <laughs> you just want a man who's gonna come and take care of this virus. Exactly. Make everyone stay in their house so we can leave our houses. He's gonna lock them all inside. They're like Watch. too much, but once they know like this is my mate, they are like crazy about them in the best mm -hmm. way and i'm like I, I love that i mean i was like fanning myself in book two on the airplane scene i was like holy crap i forgot about this yeah. was like sebastian was like i'm here for you katarine and i'm gonna take care of business so okay let's talk about book two because it was kind of sad y'all book two is yeah. sad okay book two is like i was oh, wait. shocked after coming up with book one i was like a hero that wants I know, to i should have like, my books down Book two, I mean, Sebastian is literally, like, the most sad emo boy ever. Yeah. <laughs> it's so sad. And then Katarin, the poor thing is something like, I'm feeling emotions. How yes. do I handle you this? You made me feel. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> I was like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, but I, I thought it was interesting, though, that, like, it was the heroine that, doesn't have emotions because usually like oh women were so emotional but yeah no, it was the in that <laughs> yeah no and then that was 2006 and Cressley was like no let's flip this yeah yeah that was which really i feel like cool. you don't don't expect i mean i don't expect that in a book from 2006 personally at least but can we just talk about the competition i got like major the high it's like, oh, yeah. I was like I this love is such it. a cool it's so it's cool like, it's just like anything goes it's, it's and it's so like it's complicated but it wasn't at the same time mm -hmm. i feel like in the way they dealt with it it's just, it's the amazing race but like make it ridiculous <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. i love it i love that because it like adds a little bit of adventure to the story mm -hmm. and i like how like especially books two and three it kind of just like went like build upon each other i was yeah, like yeah, yeah. I the three i was like wait a minute i was like did <laughs> i meet this character <laughs> i love it i loved it yeah yeah i loved the build to the the race like and the way that ever all three books like we're kind of in a parallel timeline right now situation so like eventually we'll get to a point where we're not so that, that's when it also gets a little interesting i was told y'all know like i love me some ghost stories i told there's a ghost story the, the next book. The next one? Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I love her. I just finished really? that book. Like, mm -hmm. this did? morning. It was, I, I couldn't stop. I was like, is this going to oh, I haven't started I'm, the I'm next gonna, three. I'm going to be I know thinking about, oh my goodness. Like, when I start the next three, I, I'm like going to bend. You got to, yeah, you got to go in the Discord and talk about it. Because I, it's Noemi and Conrad, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. In the next book. And it's a ghost story. And it is. Mary Kett is in it uh, in some great ways. And just like all the other groups start coming in and you're like, mm -hmm. oh, it starts this is gonna be uh, you, you start to see, cause there is, so you may not realize it yet. There is an overarching plot through the series actually, but I feel like Cressley doesn't lay it on thick in the opening. It kind of unfolds as you read. Mm. Okay. That makes sense. I, like, I was wondering like, that. With this, with the I third mean, you're book, getting okay. hints. Like they're talking about, they're saying an ascension, and they're talking about it. But we're building to it, okay? And we're building all the connections mm -hmm. to it. But okay. it's not like I don't know. You know, some some books, it's like right there. It's like every mm -hmm. book is like serving the main plot point on a platter. This is like just kind of dropping hints while you read about some cool couples. But yeah, book four. Okay, go. that's interesting that you say that because like one of my negative critiques like there's only like one thing is i don't feel like the world 
like where you're going in the series is like well defined. Like I'm trying to like, oh, we're in this book. And then you realize connections in the third book, you're like, hold up. And then you go to the next book after that, you're like, hold up, hold up, hold up. Mm -hmm. These characters are coming back. And so like you're thinking, like my mind is thinking these are all standalones, but I'm like, they're not. I don't really see the full connection. But I'm like, I wish there's a little bit more world building. That's the only thing because I'm like used to like paranormal worlds kind of being like, here's our main plot, here's our da da, here's our characters, we can rotate around. Like you know what you're getting. The series, I'm like, is that? Well, like, and we're gonna wrap up the Roth Brothers series soon because the novella is Nikolai, the Warlord Once Forever, and then book four is Conrad, and we already did um, Sebastian. Did you oh you didn't God. realize this? I I knew it, <laughs> but I read the I read the Warlord Once Forever like like a year ago. That's why you don't read it first because it doesn't really fit in because like it's actually happening in book three, I think, or two. I can't remember. That makes more sense because it's like, like that. Those events sense. are in another book, so if you read it first, you and you're like, what? And Nyx, oh, Nyx is literally my favorite character. When Nyx threw the car, the wrong car. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that she's like. Hey, here's what's gonna happen. Bye. <laughs> like, what? She's like, she's throwing bloody cars. She's like, hey, Nick, the wrong car, but got the message. <laughs> Isn't that every time she's here, like, we're just rolled out, like, hey, okay, bye. And they're all hey. literally like, wait, what? And then, wait, like, wait, four chapters back? later, they're like, oh, that's what she was talking about. <laughs> Yeah, I I really liked this one kind of just being like I felt like they had to both like learn how to bend a little to, yeah. or like give a little to mm -hmm. like make themselves work. I agree. That, and I that love that about it. Yeah, I also just love the sensitive alpha. Like he is a very sensitive. He will still kill everyone for you. <laughs> but he is definitely like feels. very sensitive um tracy is asking if nix gets a book she does not have a book yet the other thing you have to remember with nix is she's kind of like the cressley in the story almost right like she's the all-knowing one so how could she have a book so i don't know if she'll mm -hmm. have i was book wondering if nix got a that book too I like maybe at the end whenever she's done she'll get a book like maybe that'll be the last book but so is it still ongoing yeah mm -hmm. oh. we're waiting on monroe oh. uh -oh. how long has it been for that like I feel like most people they like don't even mention it. I don't even mention. know. I oh. I don't know honestly, unfortunately. But it's okay because I feel like the rest of these books are so good. Like the way it mm -hmm. sucks, but besides one book, I think all the rest of them are good. Do you think she the so did she stop when like paranormal kind of faded out? And do you think no? The last one came out in twenty seventeen. Oh shit! Oh, yeah. Okay. So it's okay. been over three years. Yeah. It was supposed right. to come last summer, but then the pandemic, and I th maybe this year. I'm hoping. I'm hoping this year. I'm really, really hoping, y'all. Um. But yeah, it's not over yet or anything. It's just here. I do. I want a next book, but I feel like it has to be the finale. Yeah. This oh, Car it is, it Car is it Carol or Caro? I love her too. Does she get a book? Uh, I'm trying to remember. I love her. She was like, toil, 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 uh, oh. <laughs> motherfuckers. Yes. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> she <cracked me> up. <clears throat> um, <laughs> Dreams of a Dark Warrior is my least favorite book, but that's a ways away. Okay. Uh, and then I don't like the self-published one she did. That was the male male romance because it's the gay for you trope, which I do not like. And that's, I actually have never read it. I will read it for a read along and then I'll never read it again. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I just don't like that trope personally. I don't know. It just yeah. never has worked for me. So like I'm just the, like, it's, yeah. It's a weird trope. It's a weird <clears throat> trope. It's like out of everyone, it's just, just you. Yeah. Like I just, I don't know. It feels weird. It, like I just, yeah. I don't like it. It feels like, I don't know. And you only ever see it when it's male, male romance. So that also bugs me. Yeah. Like it's always mm -hmm. a, a guy that's gay for another, only gay for this one guy. And I'm like, but where's like, I don't ever see the sapphic version. So I just think it's 
That is true. I think in general you don't see. I don't think I can't think of any sapphic paranormal. Romance. Yeah, book nine is Caro. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so what did y'all think reading. about? What did we think about? Can we can we talk about the third? Mm -hmm. one? Of course, we can talk about anything in these three <sighs> books. Sorry, you have to be quiet about yeah. Noemi for a while, Charles. He. Uh, so like there okay first of all what's up with the snow white i was like okay the, this like the second time the mirror was bought up i was like is this a snow white retelling <laughs> and I then there was like apples there was like a like an apple mint like apples were mentioned a couple mm. times. i was like is this snow white huh i never thought I about this it. at all like at all i was just like oh she's a weird mirror witch yeah <laughs> And she's like what the queen of like reflections or something and mm -hmm. yeah. like constantly like talking in the mirror. I was like Well like entrancing her own self in her the mirror. I was like that would be weird. I cannot. Yeah. But like Valkyrie's it, like shiny things, so Mary Cat is just like <laughs> <laughs> Is that the equivalent? I feel like they're this like this sorority. The Valkyrie. <laughs> they are, oh my gosh, we need <laughs> sorority shirts that are we just like Valkyries. <laughs> but like, okay, so does it happen? Just, I mean, give me a head nod. What's Mariah? Is that the girl like that died back in the day and he wants to like bring her back? Does she ever come back? Okay, yeah. good. Oh, good. Uh, no. <laughs> you wanted her to, Charles, didn't you? <laughs> Just like a surprise, like a second book with a couple of like, surprise, like surprise, surprise, she surprise. reincarnated. Oh my god. What okay, was he was he that character? Because there was somebody mentioned in the second book. Were they talking about him? About like he so, killed her and he wanted to go back and bring her back. Was that yes, him? That was that was okay. him. So okay, Bowen is in him. book two. He's the one who locks them all in the cave. Like he's the reason they get locked in that yeah. cave, right? And we meet my favorite demon boys, uh, the Bridestrom and um, Cade, who I love. They get their own books. Ooh. They're sweet beans. Um, <laughs> particularly enjoy the heroine in that one, Sabine for Bridestrom. But yeah, um, <clears throat> yeah, so he's in that book. That's why he wants the key was to go back and get Mariah. Even though, like, because he has all that guilt, right? About, like, mm -hmm. I feel so, I, Bowen breaks my heart. Because I just feel bad for him. Like, he drives me nuts, too. Because I'm like, you're such an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> just get over it. Yeah. You've had years. <laughs> get over it. <laughs> a lot of years. <laughs> it's like a long time, dude. Just get over it. Yeah, like, we're, so, so like, in book two, I understood, like, her kind of, guilt because like she didn't mm -hmm. kill the vampire and then her sisters get killed. like it was believable but with him yes. i was like dude it's time to move on <laughs> you have this he beautiful girl <laughs> really uh um, it's just like waiting for you yeah he just really internalized what happened with that and it's i get it i mean it's got to be mm -hmm. i guess it's a scarring event yeah. um yeah. and i shouldn't be like just get over it but i was like man you've had hundreds of years get over it yeah Go yeah, read Mika. Wow. It hurt for That's her because like for her, she was like, is he gonna choose me? And mm -hmm. like I felt like she was pretty badass. Like yeah. she like who wouldn't be very magic. Bad yeah. That was interesting. Like that yeah. was a thing for her. Like, am I gonna be chosen? Mm -hmm. You know? And I'm like, girl, you've been pretty badass this whole story. Like, mm -hmm. if he doesn't fucking pick you, we'll get another book. <laughs> <laughs> This would be a romance if he doesn't pick her. I would be I very know. concerned. Cressy could have been like, surprise, it's a part two to this nice, story. Part two, Mariah comes back. <laughs> and then like, what? Oh Mary kind of has to murder like, no. To no, she has to like trap her in the mirror dimension <laughs> so that she can have her, um, you know, her joy. I'm trying to think of that. Like I highlighted another is it Caro or Caro? Caro quote. Caro, I, I think. When we think Mariah came back, she's like, "Hey, prick, <laughs> you and Twice Bert deserve each other." Or something. It's 
accurate. I mean, you know. She is nuts. It was so not good. Having it. But yeah, I, I think the third was my favorite so far. But they were all uh, good. They're all good. Yeah. I just want to say, like, I had to praise Cressy, like, the book two and three. Because they low-key just explore grief and how you handle grief. You have, like, mm-hmm. um, yeah. Katarin, I think is that in the book two yeah. the one? Like, mm-hmm. she wants to go back and save her Valkyrie. Sebastian, I think, yeah, Sebastian wants to, like, end his life. And then in the third book, you have Bowen and his, like, long-lost love. And it's like, dang, you're, like, giving us all these, like, heightened, like, alpha, crazy, mm-hmm. wacky stories. But they're actually, like, really grounded in, like, very human issues. Like, you can all connect. Everyone can connect to grief. And I think it's mm-hmm. handled really well. It is. Way. And I think she is definitely, like, exploring, like, family, found family, Mm-hmm. going on too in a really good way about like supporting each other and like the way in which the Valkyries like will show up for people like for their people and I mean the Lachlan like Lachlan and his clan is like I don't know they're a bunch of weird wolf dudes you know but they all give each other <laughs> shit I feel like when they're together yeah. and it's always cute like I love that part like we see um I guess you can start to see the groups mixing and I enjoy that mm-hmm. a lot yeah, That's for me, it thing. feels like they're immortals, right? So mm-hmm. they kind of have it all, right? They're not going <laughs> to die. But I feel like they all have something that they would, if they were given the opportunity, they would go back and fix. Yes. And that's nice to see. It's like, mm-hmm. you know that you have all this life ahead of you, but like they would all backtrack if they could with a like seeing so far so well because i think it's important to think an immortal life isn't a perfect life yeah right you're still gonna make mistakes you're still gonna fuck up you're gonna deal with a lot of grief because not everybody's gonna live yeah i think that's a part of immortality people don't think about right like you might be the last one standing and everyone around you is not there yeah like that would suck especially like so in the second book right like she doesn't have any emotion and that's like a choice because she had that emotion that split second and then her sisters die Mm -hmm. and like gosh and then like the hero comes and all of a sudden it's like i can feel again and it's like she doesn't know if she likes this you know (laughs) like i felt (laughs) like wouldn't it be really jarring to be like yeah, okay, I don't have feel. Oh, shit, what is this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like when the um the vampire heart, like, restarts when they find their true love, right? Like, that's, like, got to be jarring. Uh, the sisters from sisters. book two get a book. What sisters? What were their names? Uh, oh, I can't, I can't remember. My brain. Uh, uh, the heroine sister? Who, yeah, who? the one that she went back to save. The one she got the back to save. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember okay. their names. We'll have to keep reading to see. <laughs> yeah, I have to know their names to know because I only like, I have to know everyone by their titles, <laughs> by their names. It's a mess. These books are very yeah. confusing. The oh, titles of these more. books do not make sense. No, like I get like in a series, but like it's hard to tell. Like, oh, is that like the fourth book or the fifth book or the sixth book? They all have like similar titles. Mm-hmm. They do. What did y'all think of like, because he starts like kind of drinking her, right? In this one? Isn't there some some feeding? I mean, we have like almost a bloody Or am I I'm no, not getting this no. one and two mixed up? No, book Which, one, we have a bloody blowjob. Basically. Okay, I'm talking about this crotch. one. I'm talking about the second one. Okay, the second one, because in the first one, she feeds from his crotch. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely, like, so we have Mella Vane's, like, bloody hand job. We've got the bloody blow job in, in book one, yeah. I guess. But this one, isn't it this one? Katarin. Yeah. Doesn't mm-hmm. he, like, start? What did y'all think about that? <laughs> I think it was handled well. I don't know. Yeah. I I don't get squicked out by the vampire stuff, really. Yeah. Like, necessarily. I know some people do, but I, I, if it's described correctly, I feel like it's sexy. Like, it's cool. Like, it works. Mm-hmm. But then if it's described wrong, I'm out. 
See, I'm like, this is one of my first ever vampire reads, and I was like, oh, this really? isn't bad. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't read Twilight, Twilight or anything. Like, so okay. I'm like, this is my first time. Like, one of my first times. I like it. <laughs> 2021, <laughs> guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I had one more question. I, or, I liked that it was like the witches were the focus in this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love that. I love that too. We I, don't and get she a lot said, of witch romances. No, and she said something in the book like, witches out of all the creatures have been the most persecuted throughout history. So I was like, it's nice that they're like, they're so cool and normal in the book. Mm -hmm. I loved it. I love getting witches in books. So like, that is like the one thing I feel like I don't get enough of in romance is witch romances. Mm -hmm. Yes, I would be robbed. Yes, he, I'm, her, him accidentally biting her. I liked that. I liked it a lot. I liked all of it. <laughs> Again, they were on the airplane. I was like, yes, please. <laughs> and I was like, why is this over already? I want more. I know. The audiobooks for the oh. series are so good. Especially with, yeah. like, I'm usually not a fan of, like, male narrators for romance mm -hmm. books. Unless it's, like, dual. I was like, dang, he does a good job. Robert Peckoff kills it. Yeah. I, when I first listened to them, I was like, yeah, yeah, these will play. And I was like, oh, I can do nothing but listen to these. I can never read them. I will always want to listen to him and narrate this book in my mind. Yeah. But He's fabulous. I don't think I could listen to him narrate else <laughs> now. Because I would be like, no, you're not narrating an amazing paranormal series. I know. Go read Nick's again. <laughs> I don't know how he keeps them all straight either. I know. Yeah. It's he's wild. It's really good consumed on audio. Mm -hmm. Yes, highly, highly recommend. Oh, they're so good. I just like love them. the random, like, funny things. Like, somebody's yeah. like iPod has, like, stickers of cats on it. Of, like, I love, like, um, I love when you're reading something, there's, like, that date that's just slightly dated reference now. Like, the iPod, I was like, huh? Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, <laughs> iPods, that's right. We didn't all have smartphones that held everything on it. <laughs> One like in like ten years, somebody's gonna read that and be like, "What's an iPod?" And the banter, like the female characters, hold their own with the heroes, they do. and I, I love it. Yeah, you cannot deny Cressley is a craftsman with that banter. I I think that's like one of the things I appreciate the most about the books is like, I never even even Emma, I don't feel like any heroine in her books is really a rollover and take it like and just go along for the ride like. At, they're gonna say something at some point yeah mm -hmm. like they're never just gonna be like oh yeah okay whatever i'll go with this dude who's being obnoxious <laughs> i feel like she kind of had to in a way because then it helps balance the super alpha because yeah. it was like super alpha and like just straight up passive heroines everyone be like this is not this is not uh... i don't I think just, it would have worked feel as like, well i feel like she wrote these once upon a time and just knew these bitches in 2021 are gonna fucking love this book <laughs> i will honestly the day i get to meet cressley i am going to just like lose my shit <laughs> like straight up after. i just feel like i'm gonna word vomit about how much i love these books and it's just gonna be really awkward <laughs> and it's fine just is she like kind of does she kind of keep to herself like i've never heard of anybody like meeting her her being I, at a romance she, panel oh, oh my god laura you still use an ipod what <laughs> I, I found one that. the other day and i was like wow i haven't seen this no page. judgment no judgment here no no judgment really i'm just like wow those things are bricks they like don't die though um I know she did a bus tour for Lothair. If you look it up, there's a bus with a full yeah. wrap of Lothair on it. <laughs> and it's so cool. But that's it. I don't know. I don't know. I want to meet her really bad. She yeah. sent, um, Faded Mates did Faded States where they like phone banked. And one of the ladies on it arranged like a Facebook group reread of the books. And Cressley was one of the people who donated the authors. And she sent her a package. Wow. Like with oh, all this stuff so from New Orleans. We need to get Cressley. <laughs> get this on her radar. 
I just like it sucks. I don't live in Louisiana anymore. So I'm like, I just want to go to New Orleans because of these books all the time. I'm like, I just I know. Like, where's the Valkyrie house at? Like, I want to just see it. Like, I mean, and that's like the perfect American city for a series like. This, I mean, that's, that's there's a reason. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So many paranormals are set in New Orleans. Yeah, yeah just, I love it, y'all. I'm ready for the next three. I gotta buy them. <laughs> I think we I think we just agree permanently <laughs> Crestley Cole. Oh. I'm here for it. I am here to convert everyone to be Crestley Cole fans. We've got a couple of people who who didn't like them. I know that, and that's okay. <laughs> so that's what okay. are y'all? Because I haven't every all three books when I would go to like review them on or like rate them on Goodreads, mm-hmm. five stars. So what are what do people not like about them? Is it the aggressiveness? So book one, I think it was the aggressiveness of Lachlan. They just didn't like him. Okay. But I don't, okay, I don't know. Do you, do you all look at years books were published before you read them or after you read them and think like, okay, it's a little bit of its time ever? Okay. Because I do. And like when I look at a book and I know it's from like 2006, I'm like, okay. Like that, the kind of hero in this is going to be different than a book I read in 2020, 2019, 2021, mm-hmm. right? Consent's going to be a little different. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I think people people don't like Lachlan because he's very aggressive. I guess. I, I don't. I, I find him just like the typical alpha personally. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. so usually with older books, we're like, okay, did not date well. Mm-hmm. And maybe in 2006, we would have been like, okay, he's too much. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I never got that with him. I was like, the dude's been underground for centuries. Exactly. I mean, how would you act if you were trapped how underground for centuries act? and had to rip your own leg off? I mean. And I think she did it perfectly because he's so aggressive and she's so like timid. So they're just different, but they're meant to be together. And they have to like mm-hmm. meet in the middle, tone it down, hype it up, you know, like. I thought it was good, but I guess Bailey, if it, it was 2006, I'd see it, maybe. Bailey said that she didn't like book one, didn't have her convinced, but after book two. So what didn't you like in book one, though? Like, what? I just don't know. I just, I, I love. Book one is like, see, but like, I was like already on like that super, like, hype, like, like, whatever, like, alpha character, like, reading dark romances. Like, I was like already deep. So like, first mm-hmm. people came along, I was like. I like I, I like this. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta message me like what else you've been reading because I need all the things. I really yeah, want to read the professional that. by Presley Cole. That's I think that's oh. what I heard that one is ridiculous. My favorite is the third one, which is the player. And there is a point at which, again, just rip up in my soul here. He runs up to a car and bangs on the window because she's in the car leaving. And he's like pissed that she's going to get away and he's going to lose her forever. And it's just like gut wrenching. And I love it. (laughs) I never ever want my partner to do this. Okay. But like reading it, I was just like, yes, 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 yes. Bang on that window. And I mean, he's like this big, burly guy, just like, like she thinks the window's going to break on the car. It's terrifying if this happened in real life, but when I read it, you're like, keep it coming, keep it coming. Right, it just shows Give you me where more. we are as a people in 2021. This is what we need. Sometimes, again, <laughs> if you're not going to deliver me heads in a bag, I don't want you. <laughs> when we get to that, y'all are going to be like, oh my god, <laughs> we need <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Um, I do want to say somebody in the Discord cracked me up because they decided that all the likey in the book are like salamanders because he grew his leg back. <laughs> That's not what I, like I was just like I was dying. Bowen and three two tortured. Yeah, I, I I can see that the ending was was quick. It was. But y'all, the next book. It's so good. So nobody in the Discord really talked about why they didn't like book one. But I will say also a note I remembered. I felt like Emma redeemed herself a lot at book one as not being this like meek, timid character because she kills 
Demestru? Her father? Her father, yeah. She literally kills her father. She's like, I am not weak willed. So then I feel like it makes you look. I looked back at her in book one as like, oh, wait. You were more than we thought. Yeah, book one mm -hmm. felt very figuring out who I am. Because mm -hmm. she mm -hmm. was like, I wasn't feeling her at first, but she chopped his head off. He was talking shit. And she chopped she his head off. I was like, I okay, done. girl. <laughs> I wrote with you now, girl. And then the second one was like, kind of sad. But it was more, I was like, they got to figure out how to like make this work yeah you knew they like just had to kind of come together in a way yeah they had to give a little and then book three was perfect <laughs> sorry so I Laura it. said that she said Bowen is too tortured uh, and wanted him to be more sure of uh, Mari and that she deserved better I do agree Bowen was like a she little did. too hesitant with Mari and it did annoy me but I felt like he got the proper punishment when she went into the mirror for like a week or two yeah. and she was like I'm done I'm yeah. gonna go live in this mirror <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh that yeah. oh okay so I actually I have a good quote to pull from book three to share um which I feel like is a good lead up to the demon boys books eventually but um I love when it's like, he's like, wait, you're not a mortal? Yeah. <laughs> he was like, did you just tell? He was like, oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> like, immediately he was just like, oh, shit, I fucked up. I fucked up bad. <laughs> fucked up bad. <laughs> and he's like, I got to go back. And then, like, Kate and Rydstrom are, like, trying to protect her so hard. And I'm just like, oh, you sweet little demon beings. I love you. <laughs> But yeah, I, I liked it. Yeah. I like I at first I was like, wait, how is this bitch immortal? I'm not immortal <laughs> yet. She ain't even she ain't even changed. Even on but <laughs> I'm like, but she's got so like she's like super powerful and all like she had a lot going on. So I was like, okay, I see what you did here, Cressley. I, I like it. Mm -hmm. it. I mean it works. It just it does. Brave. I don't know if I would compete if I wasn't immortal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's that's kind of crazy. <laughs> like she was literally like, I don't care. I'm gonna do this. I I don't care that I have to compete against Katarin, who's like won a bajillion times. Yep. Yeah, and I love no that. Hesitation. I mean, Katarin was basically owning the competition because she doesn't yep. feel shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's like, what she literally does it. She was like, hi, I'm leaving you trapped here, Bowen. Peace <laughs> out. And then he gets out and he's like, I'm gonna trap everybody else here. And then that doesn't go well for him. <laughs> One and three, the females are young. Yeah, they are young. Mm -hmm. Which, somebody's yeah. like 23. Is it is it my girl in book three? Somebody was like very I young. I think so. I think so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or was Emma 23? They both were like. Young, young I know 20. Emma felt very young. Emma, Emma read when she was 19. Yeah, I was like, how old is Emma? Because <laughs> sometimes reading of like a heroine that's not like sure of herself, that mm -hmm. just you're just like, oh, you're like mm -hmm. your child. Yeah, like is this a YA <laughs> novel? Because like, oh, I'm not. <laughs> just, just imagine putting the morals of the dark series like right next to you know the author that cannot be mentioned in the YA section. <laughs> I can imagine like a little teenager going like, what is this? Mom is vampires. And they're reading the book. like, oh. I mean, it'd be a better time. <laughs> Depending on how old they are. So how many books total are there? 17. 17. Okay. So we got a lot to go. 17? Yeah. Emma no. was seven. Yeah. Okay. Okay. She's still oh. young for an immortal. Mm -hmm. oh, I need to cut. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. He does not give a shit, though. He was just like, I don't care. Oh my gosh. Cressley's a mess. She's a qu she's the queen. She can. I feel like seventy and immortal has to be like. 18, 19 in human years. Re regular life, yeah. Yeah. Regular life. Like 100 years is like 10 years old. 
Like you, you know what? To, you're another, like, years. another thing that I really liked is like in book three, um, I say Mari. I don't know how to say her real. Is it her real Not name? Too. Mary. Kata. She call she calls him out on his shit. She's like, uh, prejudice mm-hmm. match. Like <laughs> she called him out on his shit. And that was the first time that I really realized, like, oh shit, these are different creatures, and they don't all necessarily get along. But she's like, if I'm a witch, like, you know, like just like how like uh, Emma was like, I I can't I can't bring a werewolf to the house. This isn't gonna go well. And oh. Catherine's like, I can't bring a vampire to the house. This isn't gonna go well. And it's like they're all at the house. <laughs> Because about to be like, what is this dude doing here? Okay, let's see if we can kill him. <laughs> exactly. They're like, can we eat them? Can we kill them? Like, what do we do with them? Um. <laughs> Beat them to the, the wraiths outside the house. So, Izzy, do you feel like you picked up on anything this time that you did it the first time? I noticed when people for later books start appearing. Okay. Um, so oh, okay. there's this quote from book three um, where Bowen's talking to Rydstrom and he says, do you know what I'm going to enjoy when you meet your demoness and she shakes to, shakes to hell your unflappable demeanor? I'm going to laugh when you turn enraged, horns flaring, ramrod straight, straight every time she saunters by. And Rydstrom's book is book five? Five? Is that right? No, six. So oh, Kiss of a Demon King is Rydstrom's book. Okay. And y'all are not ready for Sabine. He has a demoness. <laughs> You're not ready for Sabine. That's all I'm going to say. You I'm just like thinking like. I can't, I can't wait. You <laughs> are just going to be like, holy shit, when you get to Sabine. She's one of my favorite heroines in this whole series. Ooh. Closely tied with the next books. I really, really like Noemi and Conrad. See, that's why I wish that like we could the talk to her. Died. Because I need, to, I need to talk to her and be like, girl. Did you know that this was going to happen? Like, did you have like a tree and say, I'm going to say this in this book and then it's going to lead to this in book five? I feel like she had to because like, I, as you listen, you're like, you're meeting so many characters that come later. And again, like that being dropped in book three and it's not till book six. You have to know something, right? Like you have to know something. Mm -hmm. Sabine, the one who shoots the arrow. (laughs) No. I don't think we've met Sabine yet. She is so. in. I think we meet Sabine in book five briefly. Actually, so book four and five, I believe, run or no, five and six run on like parallel plot lines in of the sort, uh, kind of, okay. if I recall correctly. Like you'll read one and then you'll start the other one, and it kind of like, you know I what I mean, where it like completely twines together, and you're like, wait, what? This mm-hmm. is all happening at once. So, if I recall correctly, I might be off. I haven't read these in like two years. There are a lot, y'all, <laughs> to remember. You're fine. And like to be honest, like you said, like the seventeen book series, like you cannot expect to remember. Like, why are paranormal yep. series like the only I think romance series where like every author is like, oh no, it's like fifty books. It's, like this one's sixty books. <laughs> I've been writing. We've left back writing Brotherhood. I've been writing. And I'm like, I can't read forty books. <laughs> I could not Look, read 40 books. I know. But I'm so excited about this one. I will read all 17 of them. <laughs> yeah. like them all. They the are. The only thing, Cressley Cole does not have her audios via the library. So you like have to, pay. I had to like buy them. I listen from the library. <laughs> um, yes, uh, two libraries I have have them. If you join the Brooklyn Public Library, you can get them. $45 yeah, a month. I, there you go. The only I listened to book two that. on Scribd because it was checked out, but the Ooh, other two I had on the library. Did you time speed life though? It oh. drove me nuts, I, I but can't. I did. <laughs> I can check speed on these because the narration's so good. Yeah, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Brooklyn, no, nope, they don't have that one, but Brooklyn has some of the audios, and you can join them for forty five dollars for a year, or fifty. There you go, oh, Charles. Did, so who put us this on? Who doesn't have them? They have oh. surprisingly all of the Leany Sings audios, which I was shocked by. Both series, the Side Changeling and the Guild Hunters. But have you read those? Have y'all read those? 
I want to read her this year. I'm reading I read some of them. I just say some of the people who like Side Changeling don't like Immortals After Dark. And I get it. They're like two different types of paranormals. Really? I'm trying to focus on reading these books so I couldn't do both at once, if that makes sense. Like, I can't do two paranormal series together. Okay. Oh. I mean, I probably could. I might start a different. They're different enough. I would say Nalini Zing is more like your traditional ish. Yeah, that makes Paranormal. sense. Paranormal is not too crazy. It's. I like the Guild Hunter book. Angel's Blood. Yeah. I enjoyed Angel's Blood a lot. Her but everyone says the Sci Hunter is better. Sci Changeling. Sci Hunter. Sci Changeling is better. Sci Hunters. Okay. I am mixing Cheryl and Kenyon and Nalini now. So. Yeah, Charles, it's just you because everybody else <laughs> seems to have from the library. <laughs> Shout no, out to the library. I mean, I think they seem very different. I just, like, I, I couldn't do both the last month. I was like, I'm going to do it. And I was like, no, nope, I'm not doing it. Yeah, it, I, it feels like you have to concentrate on one because it's a lot of characters. And, I mean, with the adventure stuff, the race going on with this one, I don't think I could do two at once, so... But this one is like setting the bar kind of high, y'all. I'm just saying. <laughs> I just want to get to that. Um, it's the book with the white cover and the red rose, the red feather. Do you know what is it? Be what's that one called? Yeah, is it the one with the human and the person who's supposed to be like a villain in the series? That's all I know about it. I heard that one. Sweet I ruin. Like, I heard this is like near the end. This is Sarah McLean's favorite. Sweet ruin. Okay. He is poison to everyone. What? But her. And it's so good. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Your face when I said that, you were like, what? He's what? poison. He is poison to everyone but her. And Aww. it's so good. Aww. The weird one that'll be fun is the one right before it, which is Dark Sky, which is the angel guy romance. It's weird. Ooh. I just love the creatures. Like, oh, I like, love when a Sarah, uh, not a when like a series has variety and it's not just yeah. all mm-hmm. vampires, all yeah. werewolves, or all like I get bored. I want variety. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so she did not like book one. I know that the pre we told you not to read the prequel though, like yet because you need the context of the other books to read the prequel. It is incorrectly yeah. numbered. See, I read the prequel first, and I I knew going into it that. People said it's like confusing, so I made sure like, I paid like super attention. So help me get the tone of what the series is going to be. So when I got to book one, I was like, "Oh, this is not this is not that crazy," because the, the yeah. novella is pretty crazy. Yeah, and book one was great, but I feel like the series kind of starts with book two. <laughs> the race is yeah. really a good concept. I agree. Um, mm-hmm. the villain book I think you're thinking of, Charles, is Lothair. Oh, that's the one. Okay. We've, Lothair's shown up quietly so far. Okay. Uh, but we haven't really met him yet. But he's been—he's just kind of he popped in for like one book, correct? I think it's just one book. Um, I think that's. Like- yeah, there a immortal or faded mates does a body part count in their. <laughs> they do they count how many limbs i love the limbs i personally feel like if you're an immortal like there's gonna be a limb count i don't know it just makes sense do you feel like it's symbolic of something like i'm trying to think of like him in the first one like (laughs) wiping his leg off (laughs) like i gotta get to this girl i don't know i i guess i need to go back and listen to the first season when i started listening to faded mates they were like halfway through the second season and so I listened to that, and I have never listened to, like, the you, beginning. Oh, you should go back as you read these. It's been really fun, actually. I've been re-listening to some of them as I go, and they're just such a treat. And it's really funny because, like, they're so nervous. Yeah. In the beginning, <laughs> as you can tell, you know what I mean? And, like, now they're so comfortable, and you're just like, oh, this is really cute. Um, <laughs> please make me a family tree of body parts. Thanks. Yeah, I think Lothair is mentioned in every book, but I don't think he appears in every book. Okay. The vampire of old is mm-hmm. Lothair, though. Every time that's mentioned, that's who that is. So 
His book's interesting. Well, I'm going to start the fourth book tonight. <laughs> I'm probably starting them this weekend because I know that I once I start, I'm not going to want to finish. These. I'm going to want to read these three immediately. Brie, yeah. you are not ready. Like I, was, I cannot. I was wait. like, I was like, you better DM me and Carl screaming about it. I was like staggering myself. Like I was like, okay, I'm going to do like a couple chapters a day. I'm going to take this slow. I'm going to do this like on two point two times B. I'm going to focus on other books. So like I just had this one kind of going along slowly. And then two chapters, and I was like, oh, no, 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 no. Bought the, <laughs> bought the so e-book. Good. I bought the ebook. I was like, I, I, I need to read. <laughs> like, oh, no, I mean, it everything. Like, I, she's, it's so hard to say <sighs> who's your favorite, I feel like, but she is a favorite. No, I mean, he's like, she, I, I love her. I love and her Conrad, so much. I love Conrad. Their romance, I was like, Chrisley, I don't know how you pulled this off. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. what I love. Because, because she's a ghost. And you're like, how do you... I thought I had to wait till like book 10 to get nope. the ghost book. Somebody must be on Instagram. Book. They're like, there's a ghost book. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, yep. I'm starting it tonight. <laughs> so Wine and all. <laughs> uh, there is a driving force in the series, though. Like, if that's what you mean, like something that's pushing the plot forward. The thing pushing the mm-hmm. plot forward is the ascension coming. Yeah, You're just I'm glad not- that you mentioned that Izzy earlier because I was like, when I was reading the third one, I was like, is there a big thing You'll that I'm missing? You'll start noticing it more and more as you read, but like, I, I like that it's not obviously just like here is an info yeah. dump on this mm-hmm. thing coming because like, who cares? Yeah, yeah, I I kind of like now. Like we're reading side changing at the same time. I kind of appreciate how I don't have to have like a running log of like where these other characters were beforehand. And you can enjoy the story as it is. And then someone yes. can like and then Izzy, you can chime in like, oh, this connects to this and this connects to this. And then all of a sudden it makes more sense. But I don't have yep. to do that work to understand. You know, where and we it's are in the books. I feel like that makes them like infinitely rereadable in a weird way. Cause mm-hmm. I feel like the more you read them, probably the more you pick up on. Mm-hmm. And not to say like there's anything wrong with the site changelings and how that's done. It's just it's so different. It's different. So different from the other other paranormals I've read. I was thinking that today too. I was like, I don't reread much, but I was like, I will reread this book. <laughs> I've left it. There are definitely immorals after dark scenes that I feel like I don't reread stuff either, really. And I feel like there's stuff I would go back and reread slash re-listen to. Yeah, because some of it's yeah, like I agree. Like, it's one of those books where I can easily see myself. Like, it's like a comfort read. I think the like, next book's going to be your reread book, Brie. Just got a yep. feeling. Brie, I will super- reread it. Maybe yeah, I'll read it I, twice, I, back to back. <laughs> I got a like, feeling. It's so uh, good. I'm just so excited. We don't, we don't see a lot of ghost romances either. So, no, we, you know, like, we really don't. Oh, oh my goodness. I Charles, love, oh, I love how many books have you read already this year? 43. No. That was his goal. High, higher or lower? Uh, higher. Then 43? Yeah. How many days do we have in the year already? 36. <laughs> How many, <laughs> How many, Why are you coming for me, Bree? Dude. 36 days in the year. I thought your goal was to read like less. <laughs> okay. Yeah, are you supposed reading less to, this year? I was going to, but then. Nicole convinced me to like start reading novellas. Oh, that's like, right. Like, Madison Fay. I sent like, my bestie to Madison Faye's and she texted me. She said, So I read all of those. And I was like, already? <laughs> Madison Fay. I'm going to look it up. You can't find no, her anywhere not, but on her own website or Eden's bookstore. Yeah. You have to oh. send us your Kindle. She's banned from Amazon. It is. Oh. I had to put them aside because I'm trying to read for Fantasy Romance February and Black Author Challenge. And I was like, I cannot go on a Madison Faye rabbit hole. I committed <laughs> myself to things. But I can I can I get why she was banned because why? She, she loves to write like girls that just turned 18. Like there's one book where she's not banned so this is girl of Jessica Kane and Frankie. No, Love. but it literally starts. Um there's one book where I think she had edited it's for fate. Her iBooks, I think is bait, yeah. And she literally turns 18 a minute before her and the, her teacher get together. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Charles has read 91 books so far this year. I just went to look. 91? Why not? Oh my God. <laughs> Charles, do you ever get into I am excited. I see your manga and I'm very excited about it. Yeah. What manga? You read, read some, some manga. Like, oh, you read Fire in His Fingertips. I didn't know you read that. Yes. I, I don't know. When, um, she recommended it. She's like, oh, no, start off with these other ones. I was like, no, I'm going right for Fire. And I was like, nothing else can Well, you read Sweat and Soap too, which is like a tamer version. I mean, yeah. not for, it's a tamer. The fire, dirty in your fingertips. I was like, I literally got volume two in the mail, and I was like, I'm gonna read this for the manga love, and then I was like, I'm reading this right now, and I read it in like 30 <laughs> minutes. And I was sad because I was done. That's so good, so good. Ninety-one so books. I, my that brain. Like, I'm at thirty-four. Literally like fifteen matters, fifteen plus matters and fade books. And then I started reading, I started just like buying all the novellas. Like it's I'm at 34 and I felt like I was reading a lot. And okay, you're over here. I don't, want, one. I don't want to tell you then like there's like 20 other books I haven't added to Goodreads. So I oh, I believe it. I know. You're yeah, I have like we a, know. I have a, I've been bad with the whole pandemic in the library. Like I just like check out way too many books and then like, shit like 10 books are due in one day so like i have them overdue for like a week are you a mood reader though i feel like you just like pick up a book and you can just read it and i'm yeah. so envious of y'all that can do that because i'm like yeah. i it has to be very specific i don't know i vary i mean i feel like i always have like a plethora of options that i feel overwhelmed by them yeah. and then i have to be in just the right mood for just the right book which like fantasy mm -hmm. romance has been great because I feel like it's just super different than everything else I've been reading. And then diving into a lot of the KU books I've been wanting to read for the Black Author mm -hmm. Readathon has been chat, whatever. I don't know what y'all are calling it. I'm like, this, I keep calling a readathon for Mortals After Dark. My brain. I was like, <laughs> yeah, I, don't I, I, I don't know what to call it. I said like read along, readathon. Like, what I, know, I was like, <laughs> I don't know. It's all the same. But like diving into <laughs> novellas and stuff, I'm like, this is great. This is what I want. I'm like, I want. Honestly, I think I just want smut right now. Like, I want the dirtiest. Yeah. <laughs> you can give me. And that is why I'm trying to not read all of Madison Fay because of Charles and Nicole. I feel like I got bullied into it. And here I am. <laughs> just go with what the mood wants. No, look, wait, I'm like, you know the Highlander I'm not joking. One? Yeah, I read, Um, I think the first book's to Tame a Highlander. Yeah. <laughs> Tamed by the Highlander. Ooh. <laughs> So hey. like, I was reading and I was like, okay. I know. I was like, oh. I was like, this is porn with plot. That's all this is. That I'm for. Just read um the her um cowboy series. I read the first one of that one. I was like, okay. I was like, this is was still like, Madison Faye? Yeah. Oh wow. Her books are like maybe better than Jessica pages. She's oh, better yeah. than Jessica Kane. She's More better plot. than Jessica Kane. Okay. Um, what's it? Uh, Alexa, Alexa, what? Riley? I've never read Alexa Riley. Alexa Riley, but much better than she's like the most. Mad is the most consistent. Okay. Like you have your you have your steaminess, and then you have like a little plot that goes. Out <laughs> she's you don't have to How do they get banned from Amazon? Like, does somebody complain? Like a re a reader. She has a menage in her Mountain Men series. And um, it's a two brothers and a girl, but the swords don't cross. And yeah, that got her banned. Yeah, she has been. If you want menage where they do, you read Katie Roberts. I mean, yeah, most menage where they had swords cross are hard to find, I feel like. But well, uh, they're easier um, now. Her they're easier vampire now. Vampire series. Her vampire. I can't believe I read that one. Um, air sacrifice? and sacrifice and air is the sequel. Yeah, yeah. they are steamy. That one's also, even, that's, Jolie that's Super. Hmm? That it that's ends four, up being yeah. a foursome. That's yeah. three that's dudes and one girl. There's also the reverse harem book by Jolie Supercart, Queen Takes Knights. So it starts off as a three, and then book two is a dragon that they get, and it expands to a point at which I thought, whose limbs are who? <laughs> <laughs> I was literally 
reading. Um, and I was like, wait, what? Uh, also, if you guys want to try Madison Faye, if you sign up for her newsletter, you can get two books. You get 15 inches and Baby It's Cold Out. <laughs> don't read Baby It's Cold Out. It's trash. Yeah, don't read. It's not the best. <laughs> Charles rated it four stars, but he was wrong. Okay. Charles rated something four stars? <laughs> this just tells you how like, I had like no... like I cannot see why anyone will rate her books like lower than a four star. I gave that book two stars. Wow. It was bad. It was very creepy. It's and not creepy? a fun way. Oh god. It's the next door neighbor and her slash her dad's best friend. And mm. it had like the lyrics of baby it's cold outside in it. And she goes over and they like hook up. It's just it was weird. Weird. It was weird. It was not great. But yeah, if you want Madison Faye, you have to go to Eden Bookstore to buy it. And then you can send okay. it to your Kindle. You can do um, iBooks if you have an iPhone. She's on yeah. there. But they might be edited more on yeah, there? Yeah, they're edited. Yeah, That's I remember bait, 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 she, I read the edited version because of some of the language and content. I was like, but even with the edit, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> Still, I've got bait on my Kindle. <laughs> I might just have to do like a three hour maybe four hour reading sprint of myself, just reading all the Madison Bay I have. Like it's re- like, I, think I feel like you come out of it in the fog. You're like, what happened? <laughs> See, the thing it's is book. like, I would, I would be reading like five at the same time. Like, just, like How? Just, okay. The thoughts are not that complicated. Like the titles tell you everything. <laughs> I mean, There's, yes. Um, but... Scrooge, I think. Is there, is there a Christmas Minaj one? I really like that one. It's like um, premises, uh, two CEOs um, have a leak, and then they basically role play with the heroine that she's the mole. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. And they they basically have their fun times during an office party. <laughs> with everyone I love an office, office party. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know. Okay, I was looking at that one. I was debating it. I've been looking at all of her 99 cent ones. <laughs> I'm like, how That's many 99 cent fantasy plays can I buy? Um, yeah. Some cheap. But once you get but, into her series and they go up to 2.99. I know. I had to buy all the, the Highlander ones because mm-hmm. can't say no to a Highlander. She has a whole holiday series too. Stealing Valentine yeah. and Get Lucky. Is she and... on Instagram, y'all? She is, but I don't think she's active. Okay. Yeah, I've never... Yeah. Well, I'm gonna start book four tonight. <laughs> so I wait. You're gonna start it, Bree, and then you're just gonna be like up until you're like not gonna go to sleep. I have nothing to do, so <laughs> now okay, I'm saying, don't start it if you have anything to get done tomorrow, because you're probably gonna be like, I can't put this down. Yeah. I remember reading this book and being like, Oh my god. I feel like this is the book that fully sold me on the series. I would say it probably top is much better. I love book number one, but this book is probably my sitting favorite right now. Oh, shit. I, I love them all equally. Okay, like I like, can't uh, deny this, but I definitely remember so that feeling good. of this one. It's so, oh, it's so. That's good. what I mean. The ghost. Okay. Like, Let me just. You have a ghost and a crazed vampire. Oh. oh. God. Chef's it, it was, it was so, my, good. Oh, so good. It is the premise that you're like, this isn't gonna, and you're like, this works. This works. This really is well. working. <laughs> it really, really well. Oh, it's so yep, good. I'm about to download it now. <laughs> if you have to come on on the next live and yell about it with us, you can. Yes. <laughs> I will be here if y'all have me. <laughs> I'm happy to yell about ghost romances because there's not enough. Not enough. Yeah. This one was done so well. I was like, yes. Oh, agreed. A hundred percent. Like it's just I think Cressley is just a masterclass in delivering this mm-hmm. kind of storyline to you. And the themes she's unpacking in ways I feel like are uns- not what you suspect of a paranormal romance, if that makes yeah. sense. Like yeah. I don't you don't go into these thinking like you're gonna be exploring grief or trauma around like losing someone you know in an accident and just all the stuff 
all the things. Murdering your dad, you know, <laughs> just yeah. chill thing. Just, just, On just, top of being funny and yeah. sexy. Yeah. <laughs> like, and that's hard exactly. to make the humor land. She reminds yeah. me, Chris Lipo reminds me of um, Janine Frost. Mm -hmm. Minus. I would agree. But I think Janine Frost is like way more, it's not a knock, but like way more feminist with her characters. Like, mm -hmm. if, you read, if you read the main series, like Cat and, like Bo or Cat and Bones, Cat and yeah. Bones there's like a really great undertone to that one. And like Kat is super badass in that series. She is. I, see I remember Kat reading that book and being by anal in it. Because in like book three, they just like randomly have anal sex. And I was like, what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> Did you not know that? Izzy, can we talk about how like that chapter where Kat meets Bones' ex? And just to get back at her, you know what happens in that one chapter? What happens? I don't remember. I read these in like 2009. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> they go up to the hotel room and have steamy time to get back while the ex is sitting outside. <laughs> right, I forgot about that. I just remember reading it and I was like, wait, what did I just read? And I like went back and I was like, oh, okay, we're doing this. So right. <laughs> I was like, I'm here for the surprise thing that I did not expect. Oh. <laughs> like, oh, okay, Bones is going for all right. Yep. We're doing this. I always enjoyed Cat's mom because she was just wild. Oh yeah, she like hates <laughs> like, and all. I don't know. I just felt like I was like, that's not how any mother would act. But okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like Brie, if you like, since you like Presley Cole, I would recommend reading. It's by Janine Frost, but it's the uh, Ian trilogy. Yes. Okay. Yes. I read that. Like, you don't have to read. He gets introduced, I think, in book three. I think the Prince Prince of Night is really good too. Mm -hmm. It's like kind of cool. You read that, and then you're like, he pops up in the main series, and you're like, oh, I know this character. <laughs> I wish Goodreads was working. But yeah, she also has the Dracula one that's really good. I think, Ooh. and you don't need to yeah. read the other one to read Dracula. Oh, and Cat's mom's movie. terrible. I just think it's funny when like people have weird moms in books. Yeah. Like I don't know. I feel like it's either books too. Her mother's a her parents are a big part. Yeah, they are, series. which is surprising. Why is Goodreads broken? Like really? Because it's Goodreads. Everyone, I know, right? Is everyone going to what is that? Story graph? Story graph books. Or something like yeah. that. Like, I know there's like yeah, two big ones. I like story graph. It's nice. Uh I did a whole video on it a while ago. Honestly, I just got asked, do like think... somebody messaged me, they're like, What's your story graph account? And I was like, um, I don't have one yet. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, you it's... are influencers. <laughs> do you have one, Charles? No. Night Prince, I'm, that's the series I'm too really late. like. I'm too lazy. Like, this is hard enough to keep updated. I like my spreadsheet and my form the best. Mm. I only update Goodreads because, like, I have, I feel like I have a sense of community on Goodreads more than I do on, obviously, Storygraph yet because, like, I haven't added people. Mm. I think that's my problem is, like, I don't see the community aspect as much. Yeah. Mm. And, like, it's I like, like hopping on and yeah. seeing, like, what y'all are reading and, what's mm -hmm. popping off in my like that feed page you know like yeah. am i seeing a lot of the same book or yeah not or you know i don't know mm -hmm. i enjoy that part but i also don't love i don't love it so like yeah. i don't know there's a lot to be I feel like, like, like I functional search like goodreads is so convenient especially if you have a kindle but you just like yeah. mark red and then you can rate it on Goodreads and Amazon. Yeah, so I'm like, that's the hardest part is like with my Kindle. It's so easy because I forget. Like this year, I'm making a point to read the ton of like all the ebooks that I bought over the years. Like my Kindle scares me. It's like a thousand unread books. Hey, <laughs> welcome to the club. <laughs> no, and like leave it to my dumb self. I like buy it in iBooks, not realizing I already bought a copy. Through Amazon like two years ago. And I'm like, oh my hey, gosh. Wait, 
Hey, you bought this book. <laughs> no, I only buy on Kindle. That's it. Like, that's that's how I don't make that happen. Otherwise, I would be rebuying the same thing. I feel like. Yeah, but yeah I'm that. I'm in the over a thousand books on my Kindle and Red Party. But my read ratio for my Kindle is like 45% of the books I own I've read. So I say a thousand, but it's really not that bad. Oh my gosh. (laughs) That you're uncollected. Oh my God. These are, so I, I, this year I started organizing it. So I organized by readathon and stuff that I'm going to read soon. Mm -hmm. And then I have a separate for my read books. So that thousand is like books I haven't actually read. Yeah. So... Yeah, I have um, I have them all in categories, like matching. Like I have a TBR category for everything, every genre, and then a red category. And then I, I mark, I try to mark them. And if I'm not going to read it, I mark it as red, so I don't see it anymore. Because yeah. if it's a book I'm not going to read, if I'm looking at it today and I'm not going to read it, I'm not going to read it in a month or change my mind. And if I do, who cares? Mm. But I mark all mm. the stuff I got for free. I don't want to read as red. Oh, and yeah, throw it I, in a I have, folder. Like, so many romances that I got for free, just like one clicking. That's the thing. Like sometimes you just get stuff and you're like, mm. <laughs> okay, everybody else had this and said it was shit. I'm not gonna read it. So then I just throw it in a folder. I do think story graphs a little clunkier in their navigation from Goodreads, but that's it's my only problem to, with it. It's gonna be hard to be Goodreads because it's, it's already they're such a close. Big player. They're close. Like they, they could do it. I do think they could do it. Mm-hmm. It just needs like a little more refinement. Just watch mm-hmm. like Amazon do something where they block so you can't like export your list into like story Yeah. Or, or they'll hard. do something. That'll I make doubt it. So it. Much I like they honestly, they don't have a competition with any of the reading sites. So I think some competition might be good for them. Because maybe we're yeah. going to see like them think, oh, shit, we need to change things. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. Goodreads could use an update. Goodreads has needed an update for ages, and they won't do shit to it. Yeah, I like their graphs. The graphs is the best part of story graph. Yeah. Literally, the fact that you can be like, what kind of books do I read? And it's like, you like lighthearted and sweet books or whatever. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no, not really. I thought it was neat to see not surprised by it <laughs> i just i'm like there's people that i follow who have been reviewing on goodreads for years so like yeah. if they move what half i mean obviously i'm sure they just don't get rid of this account but like damn you wouldn't be able to move those over or anything yeah. like you can move all of your books over but yeah i don't i feel like that would be a lot of work to, be, to, move to do the reviews yeah yeah oh, that would suck <laughs> But to wrap up, okay, so what rating did you give each of the books and then rank? We already know Bree's favorite. <laughs> the third uh, book. Three. Between book two and one, which one were, which, which one is your middle and your third? Uh, I say the middle would be the first and then the second one. Okay. How about you, Izzy? I give them all five stars. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I was like I just love them like I just genuinely love this series and I feel like pretty much everything until we get to Dreams of a Dark Warrior is going to be a five star re- like re- on reread Dreams of a Dark Warrior is a very hard book to read um, I'm actually really excited when we get there uh, to discuss it but I, I think my favorite I'm really torn between book one and two being my favorite book three is in my last spot though I think. Okay. Because I I like it, but I like the adventure that we have in book one and two, if that makes sense. Like, we're on the run, Mm -hmm. you know, Mm -hmm. we're in the race, whereas Mm -hmm. book three is just, like, a lot, a lot of grief, a lot of sadness. Yeah. Being trapped. Like, the best part about book three for me is seeing Rydstrom and Kate. Like, that's what I like. (laughs) And then I'm like, yay, we get to see them again soon. My favorite demons. (laughs) So, yeah, I think that's my ranking. What's yours, Charles? My first book is, the first book is my favorite. I gave that one five out of five stars. And then I would say the third would be my middle. And then the 
the second would be my last. But I gave both the second and third books four and five stars. I get it's that. Because like no, no rush for the just like hit me. I was like, after the first book, I was like, what is all this like feelings and emotions? Yeah. And stuff? <laughs> I was like, I was like, am I reading a different series? It is. It is a lot. It's a big shift. But I just really loved how in the race we were. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. Like in book three, you're not in the race really like you are in book two. And it's just so fun to be like on an adventure. I felt bad. I I, I literally wanted to like say like, why is Jesse Cole ripping off the Hunger Games, right? <laughs> that's it's like just all the amazing was, race. That's, but that's what, like, all I was seeing. I was like, Suzanne Collins did it better. Like da 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 da. Why is this all so I was just being super petty while reading it. And then you love. I wanted that. I wanted that first <laughs> book. I wanted that first book again. I get it. I get it. I do. But yeah, I don't see book one and two are just so hold, hold, close hold, hold, to me. I know. It's not okay. This rating is wrong. Sorry. That's yeah. Wrong. No, she's she knows she's wrong. It's fine. We did convince her to read more though. So I mean, didn't we so win? I think we won. <laughs> we won. But it doesn't one matter. Star? But one star. Uh, it's like, I'm like, I like so like you're not gonna like Lachlan if you don't like that kind of guy that's just gonna bring you a bag of heads you're out <laughs> rip his leg off you know it's just we're all built different and we all have different interests in our our love interests and in heroes and to be fair it is called a hunger like no others it's like it's going to be over the top like look yeah at I told you I will fight you we're gonna square up <laughs> <laughs> throw things at you because it's so good. Charles is gonna help me. I will. <laughs> um, but for the next live show that will be on Izzy's channel, mm -hmm. is is all the lives are gonna be the Friday of the first Friday of the next month. That's March. No, yeah, March fifth. Like, March. 5th. Wait, it is February. I was like, that's was not like, right, March. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, so March 5th, same yeah. time, my channel. Mm -hmm. And I think Angus will so be there. Four or five. <laughs> He's six. asleep right now downstairs. All right. What what are the, what what order? I can't remember the names of the book. The next three books. Oh, um I just had the list open and I closed it. <laughs> so oh, the we're great is not hosts. Next, right? Dark Needs oh, at Night's it. Edge. Yeah. Dark Desires After Dusk and Kiss of a Demon King. You guys going to meet my favorite demon brothers. You know, there's going to be some fun horn commentary next week or next <laughs> month. Because you know, everybody's talking about their horns because I can't help myself. Oh, my gosh. I love the team. They're just so f We need more demon romances, too. Like, witches and demons. I need more. And ghosts. Like, yeah. please. I know there's the time one coming is out. I know there's one coming next year. I forgot who the author is. It's um. It was pitched as, like, Gilmore Girls meets... I think wow. witches of the uh, East End or something like that. I know that. Anne Aguirre has a witch romance coming out some point. I think it's source books the, and Rachel Hawkins. Rachel Hawkins it's was Rachel too. Hawkins. Okay. Yeah, that's yes. It. Those are the there's one other. Somebody else got a witch book signed recently too. We got like three coming out in the yeah. next year. But I just need more. Like I need more than three. I need like a whole, I need like a witch coven situation. I know Juliet Crossett has her series. The Wolf Gone Wild is the first book. It's like three sisters that are witches, but like there's just not enough. There's not enough. Yeah, there really is. Um, and yeah, for on this channel, we will have more special guests. We definitely hope that Brie comes back. Thank you so much I'll be for reading. joining us. Yes, like, I was shocked me. when I heard you like want to read the series because I'm like, Brie's like in that like, like Jill Shalvis, like the very. I know. As soon of, as like, you were like, "I want to read," I was like, "Oh, we too have, edgy. have you go on?" Because I just want to know. <laughs> <laughs> and I love it. Look at me. <laughs> yeah, I was like, "Look at your face." I was like, like it, but it's in the words of Nyx, you want to fuck over my witch? <laughs> 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 you want to play those games? Well, then catch. <laughs> Oh, God, I loved it. Okay, I'm going to stop talking about the third book, okay? I'm going to go read the fourth one. I'm going to go read the <laughs> book. That's going to be like Ricky's book. She's like, do not come for the third book. Yeah. This is my book. I loved it. She's like, prick. <laughs> you and Twice Burn deserve each other. I was like, these bitches are nuts. 
some <laughs> more. They are. They're the best. So any final thoughts before we sign off? No, I'm just, I want to go read the other three books like immediately. <laughs> yeah. But Honestly, I try to read them right have... before the live. So they're fresh. See, but... this is why I let, I let you read them like closer to you and like you're in the discord. Because by the time I read them, I'm like, I forgot. Like, I just, like, <laughs> I like them all. <laughs> I, I try to pace myself. I'm like, oh, let's read this. I think I read all three, like, as soon as we announced it. Yeah. I think that, like, <laughs> you would, you look at them and, like, you think that they're bigger than what they are, but they're less than 350 pages. And on audio, that's like a couple of hour read. So, yeah, I need to, like, I need to wait a little bit longer, but I'm in. I, uh, the moon is calling, so fuck it. I, I mean, you could probably <laughs> read one of these book twice in a month and not be yeah. too bad about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like that one... Oh. I'm not ready, but I'm ready. <laughs> well, I will get mess ready, it up guys. <laughs> Join the Discord. Make sure you follow Bree on Instagram and follow Izzy on Instagram and YouTube. All the links... I think I put them down in the description box. If I, if I didn't, I'll do that now um so look out for those but yeah so we'll catch you guys on izzy's channel next month march 5th at uh 6 9 p.m eastern time yes right. happy friday bye. 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 bye all right